So today I have a pretty fun video for you guys. I thought I would share my thoughts on the new Tarte collection. I have tried quite a few of their products from this new collection. This is the Rainforest of the Sea collection. I don't know if you guys have seen the pictures of this collection or like the you know promotional pictures, uh, but this collection is beautiful. The packaging is just stunning. The quality of the products are great as well. Sometimes I get a makeup product for the packaging alone and then I try the product and I'm so disappointed but I will say for the most part I love everything that I've tried from this collection there's just like one or two products that I would say pass on uh, but yeah I thought I would share my thoughts I have tried all of these products and I've tested these products for a couple days now so I do have you know some some opinions so let's start with like i said the packaging i feel like if you were a pisces baby you were going to love the packaging it's very like aquatic i feel like if a mermaid wore makeup this is what they would wear it's like a mermaid's dream so this is the outer packaging it's stunning uh but yeah it's like this ombre design so it's like this blue that feeds into this indigo and it is just gorgeous and the actual packaging of the products are just to die for to die for so this is the actual packaging of these products need i say more no i yeah, they speak for themselves. They are just so beautiful. I'm gonna give you guys a little rundown of all of the products that I've tried from this collection, and I will tell you my thoughts of each product. So the first part here is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation with Broad Spectrum SPF 15, and this is in the shade Light Medium Beige. I do find that this is a perfect match for me, and it's funny because I typically choose a medium, but I have found that Tarte foundations, for whatever reason, they do oxidize on me pretty badly. So I went with a lighter foundation foundation and surprisingly this is like the perfect match for me now it does oxidize slightly but it does oxidize to my benefit so um i like i like the color range i feel like they do have a good color range and you know most people will find a color that matches them uh i love the packaging i love this little pump here and it just uh pumps up all the foundation and you just drop it onto your brush uh it's a serum foundation so it is very lightweight on the skin you can't really feel it it does give you a good coverage though even though it is lightweight uh, and i think that's why people love serum foundations and it's like all the rage now uh, but for this particular foundation i do find that it's not that great with my dry skin uh, especially around the nose area it tends to break away within like one to two hours i have like no foundation around my nose area which is kind of disappointing and it does cling on to my dry patches which is so so disappointing because i really wanted to love this foundation but it just doesn't stay put I don't know. So I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, but I have been applying it with this brush right here and this is their dual ended foundation brush. And that's another thing that I wanna know. This brush does not go well with the foundation that is meant to be used for. So um, it has this little like flat top kabuki here and it has this like slanted smaller uh, brush here and this works great for getting around these small areas like you know, around the nose area, uh, in between your eyebrows. So um, I do like this brush. Like this brush is really good for foundations that are a little bit more thicker in texture, uh, more creamier, not liquidy, like serum foundation. So I feel like this brush just eats away at my foundation and I need to apply at least three or four drops of foundation onto this brush to get the coverage that I want. And you guys know, I'm not like a huge fan of full coverage foundation, but I still need to, to you know, reapply um, foundation onto the brush to get the coverage that I want. Um, I have also just, you know, pumped this in the back of my hand and just applied it that way. That way I don't lose a lot of product on the brush and that works great too. But again, I just don't like the way um, this sits on my face 
and uh, yeah, that's that's all I can really say about this. I feel like this isn't a good foundation if you have dry skin. Uh, it just just doesn't work for me. I'm actually wearing this foundation right now, and I don't know if you can see it, but right around like my nose area right here, there's there's like no foundation. It's gone, and I've been wearing this foundation for about. Uh, six or seven hours give or take so yeah I don't know you know which skin type this would be preferred by uh, because it has that factor where it just kind of breaks away uh, but yeah I mean this is just personally what I've experienced other people may experience something else this may be like a holy grail foundation for some other people but uh, yeah Okay, so the next product that I want to talk about is the Tarte Rainforest the Sea Aqua Sealer. And this is something that I absolutely love. Now, I love the packaging as well. And it has this huge doe foot applicator, which I was like a little taken back at first. But I actually really like it because it's just so easy to apply. And I'm in the shade light medium. So I did get it a little bit lighter because I like to use this concealer right underneath my eyes to give a, you know, brightening factor as well. So, um, I love this underneath my eyes. Now, of course, you do have to set it with a powder, but I feel like, you know, there isn't a magical concealer where you don't have to set it with a powder. I always set my concealers with a powder because I have very fine lines. And uh, that's just that's just the way it goes. But this gives a really good coverage. It's not cakey. It's still hydrating though, but not overly hydrating because sometimes overly like creamy hydrating foundations just don't really work, especially underneath the eyes. Uh, but this is just perfect. The thing that I will say negative about this is that it has this like paint-like uh, smell to it. If you have tried the Naked Skin Concealer, then that's just a familiar smell to you already because it smells exactly like identical to that. And it's funny because they kind of work similar as well. Um, so yeah, I do like this a lot. And, and the brush that goes with it is also amazing. So this is another like dual ended brush. So you have this like fluffier side right here, which is kind of domed. And then you have this smaller, also domed brush, but it's more dense. So this is great to get around like the nose area if you wanna conceal that area or right up into like kind of like the inner, inner corners of the eye. And this is just great to buff out the uh, concealer. So I, really really love this brush uh, works wonderful with the uh, concealer okay next product that I want to talk about let's talk about some skincare this is a really good collection guys because it has a little bit of everything I think the only thing that they didn't include in this collection is like mascara uh, but they have everything they even have a lip primer um, and they have an eyeshadow brush they have everything. Okay, so this is the Tarte Drink of H2O Hydrating Boost. And when I first saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, this reminds me of like my favorite moisturizer of all time, which is this one. This is the Belief, the True Cream Aqua Bomb. I mean, they are so identical, guys, like right down to the color and the consistency. The texture is just identical and so is the color. I don't know if you're gonna see the color because the lights are kind of bright. Yeah, you probably can't see that. But they even have a similar smell. It's, it's kind of crazy. So anyways, we're talking about the tart one here. Uh, it, this has kind of a citrusy kind of scent to it. It's like a citrus slash like spa kind of scent. It's actually really, really nice. This is a very refreshing moisturizer. I really like this because it's gel-like texture, which I am a huge fan of. If you have combo, oily, you know, dry skin, a gel moisturizer is the way to go because it's just gonna work for every skin type. And I've said that so many times already, but it, it's just wonderful. What I love about this moisturizer is that it actually has glycerin in it. So it actually helps to adhere your makeup because gl glycerin is kind of like a glue for your makeup. It actually makes your makeup stick. So it's going to make your makeup last so much more longer, just like a primer would. So if you don't have a primer in your collection, and you pick up this, you can use this as both your moisturizer and your primer, which is excellent. It does kind of dry to a tacky kind of finish, but that's because it has that glycerin in it. 
So the next thing that I want to talk about is kind of like a skincare product as well. This is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Marine Boosting Mist. Look at this packaging. Isn't it beautiful guys? I can't, I can't even. So this is a product that I kind of have a love-hate relationship with, I will be honest. And um, they say that you can use this as a setting spray, you can use this as a face you know, refresher throughout the day, and you can use this as a primer. So the one thing that I will say, I've tried it every single way that they uh, claim this works for. This is excellent as a primer, and it works really, really good with the moisturizer in this collection. And they're kind of like the amazing duo for making your makeup last for a very long time. I do wanna say that I have tried this little duo with many of the foundations that I have in my collection, and it just makes my foundation last for a very long time. The only foundation that it just does not work for is this one, sadly and ironically. But I don't think it's because of the primer. It's just because it's that particular foundation. It's very finicky. Anyways, so the Marine Boosting Mist. I love this as a primer. It does dry to this like tacky finish that I've explained with the moisturizer. So it does um, just make your makeup stick to it. I also want to say that this does have a very strong citrusy scent to it. So if you are sensitive to scents or if you just don't like the smell of citrus or oranges or anything like that, you may not like this because it is kind of potent. I love orangey scents. So when I sprayed this for the first time, it was it was just magical. I love that scent because it's very energizing and I love that. Uh, but it is it is kind of strong. Now, um, I have tried this to set my makeup and uh, the days where I have applied like a full face of makeup, I have found when I spray this on my face, it does kind of bring down my makeup a little bit. And um, I've tried this with several foundations, not just the one from this collection. And I feel like the spray, although it's fine, it's just too much. Like it's too much. Um, and so it doesn't work well as a setting spray. Also, it's very moisturizing. It almost feels like an oil, like you're spraying an oil mist on your face. So I don't see this being amazing for a setting spray. Uh, you can use this as a refresher throughout the day if you have very minimal makeup or if you don't have any makeup at all. Uh, it's an excellent product. So like I said, I have a love and hate relationship with this because it works good for certain things, but just just not as a setting spray. No, no way, Jose. This next thing, and this is in no particular order, this is the Rainforest of the Sea eyeshadow palette. And I have to say, this is probably by far my favorite packaging Tara has ever come out with. It's just stunning. I don't know if this is uh, peacock feathers or if it's like an ocean wave, I'm not sure, but it is beautiful nonetheless. I love the colors, I love everything about it. These are the shadows. And at first glance, I was like, oh, okay, so this is like a, a warm palette but actually they have a good mixture of colors you can get a really good cool toned eye with this palette or a really pretty warm toned eye with this palette which is amazing there's some taupes you have this pinky shade right here and this would just make a really good you know cool toned smoky eye and then you have these more warmer tones like this reddened uh, copper right here and you have this beautiful bronze and you also have two mattes as well so you have a good transition shade right here and you have a good like brow bone highlight right here or you can just apply this all over your lid like I typically do before I apply the rest of my eyeshadows so the the pigmentation on these eyeshadows are amazing. They're very pigmented, but the texture of these eyeshadows are just like nothing else Tarte has ever come out with. And when I first touched these, I was like, oh my gosh, they feel like a wet eyeshadow. They feel like a Makeup Geek foiled eyeshadow. I kid you guys not, I would not lie to you. They feel incredible. And they're highly, highly pigmented. And they're so easy to blend. They're so easy to work with. I'm wearing the shadows on my eyes today. And honestly, I haven't put this palette down. Like, every day, 
I have been wearing this palette ever since I got this. Okay, so again, the packaging is just stunning. So this is probably going to be one of the favorites in this collection. And uh, just because this is very on trend at the moment, this is the Wipeout Color Correcting Palette. For some reason, color correcting is in now. It's kind of like the contouring phase. Now it's color correcting. And every makeup brand has come out with their own color correcting products. You have Urban Decay's color correcting wands that are very similar to their concealers in, um, in the way that they're packaged. And then you have like Smashbox, they have color correcting crayons. You have Becca with their little color correcting pots. And Tarte, they came out with a palette, which I think is so much better because it's more bang for your buck. Uh, the only thing, the only thing that I will say, I wish they came out with a lavender shade. That would have been awesome because they have two peachy shades here. And I'm like, mm, do we really need to? No, not really. But anyway, so if you want to try color correcting and you're like, I don't know, it's kind of crazy to me. Uh, this is a good palette to try out because it's very easy to use. It's very user friendly. The texture is really great. These are all very creamy, very easy to blend. You're not going to look like a clown, I promise you. I've been wearing this for a while. And when I first tried out color correcting, I was kind of scared that, that these colors would shine through, like through my foundation, but they don't. They just really balance your face. And um, I've, I'm someone who has been using like the green corrector for a very long time. So I'm very familiar with this color. But the rest, like, well, the orange mainly, is one that I've never tried before and I actually quite like it. So um, number one is the orange and that is to counteract any darkness. You have number two, which is the green. It's like more of a minty green. And this is to counteract any redness. And then we have three, and this is more of a cream contour. I do like that they included a cream contour, especially since I do have the Tardist Contour Palette and I feel like, um, they kind of work together. And then you have four and five, which are the peacher shades. And I have actually used this on my lids, like as a primer to cancel out any veining on my lids and it works beautifully. And then this guy right here, which is the yellow shade, and this is great for brightening. So it's kind of like your highlighter. So, um, I like all of these and I have been using them like crazy. The, the one thing that I will say because this is a palette, it's not going to stay as beautiful looking as when you first purchase it because of course you're going to be using and mixing all these colors together. And they do have a brush that goes along with this palette of course it's sold separately but I really do like the brush. I feel like uh, if you're kind of scared of color correcting, definitely pick up the brush as well because it makes the job so much easier. You have this little pointed dent brush brush right here and it just picks up the, the product and you just place it where you need it and then you have the little buffer right here and this is kind of like it kind of reminds me of a angled blush brush but it's super tiny and it just blends out your um your colors and it looks really really good guys it's so easy to use i'm very impressed by this palette it's one of my favorite things from this collection and one of the first things that i knew like i had to have and the layout was very similar to the uh, contour palette so if you have this palette it's super similar and i feel like they're like sisters like they totally go together so i love this i really do and it has a beautiful mirror. Um, and so does the eyeshadow palette. This has a mirror as well. Hey okay, guys, this is something that actually surprised me. I didn't think I was gonna love this liner as much as I do. This is the Tarte So Fine Micro Liner. Now, you guys know I love my Kat Von D tattoo liner in Trooper. It's just, it's my holy grail. It's the best thing ever. High-end drugstore. It's just the best thing I've ever tried. And I always, I pretty much always do the winged eye. It's just something that I love to do. It just elongates my eyes and I love that. So I wanted to pick up this and I love the tip. It is kind of short, which I didn't think I was gonna like, but it's so precise. It's so like sharp and tiny and it just makes making a very precise line super, super easy. I will say because it is short, you have to do shorter strokes, but yeah, I'm just, I'm so used to using this by now that I have to say, I think I like this better than my tattoo liner. I don't know, I don't know, or at least they're, 
I don't know, they're very similar. Um, this is super black though, and it's one of these liners that you shake. Let me just show you how, how uh, black this is. It's super black, and look at that precise line. Well, it's crooked, but look at how thin the line is. It's crazy. I love this. Again, the packaging, it's just so pretty. I did pick up the little Deluxe lip set. I wanted to try their lip formulas. They have two lip formulas that are new to this collection. I don't know if they're going to be permanent in this collection. I do believe they are. But uh, this is their Drench Lip Splash Lipstick in Cabana Boy. And I have it on my lips right now. Excuse my lips because my lips are super dry. But this is beautiful, guys. This is super creamy. It does remind me of the formula of the Amazonian clay lipsticks. I think they discontinued those. Maybe they're replacing uh, those lipsticks with these, which, I mean, I'm not complaining because these lipsticks are so pigmented and so creamy. They do dry down to like a satin finish. I wouldn't say that they're entirely a matte because they're not because they still have that creaminess to them. Uh, but yeah, beautiful. And there is a huge, huge color range with that line. And then they also came out with this, and this is their Quench Lip Rescue. And this is in the shade Nude. The packaging on these are just beautiful. This one has seashells, and I'm just in love. So this is more of a balm, and this kind of reminds me of the fresh uh, lip treatments, even down to the shape. So this one is sheer, it's glossy, it's just very hydrating on the lips. It does have that minty taste to it, or minty feeling on the lips, which I, I actually like, no complaints there. So I really do love both of these products. I probably will check out more of the lipsticks. I don't know if I will pick up more of the lip balms, maybe because of the packaging being so cute, but I don't know, we will see. So the very last thing that I wanna talk about, and my favorite thing in this collection is this guy right here. If you only wanna pick up one thing from this collection because they have like a ton of things, it's kind of, it's kind of crazy. Um, if you want to only pick up one thing, pick up this. I highly recommend. So this is the Skin Twinkle Lighting Palette, and it comes with two highlights and then uh, filtered light, which I would consider filtered light as a setting powder. Okay, so this is, let's see, this is Sunlight, which is the Champagne Gold, and this is Moonlight, which is the Rosy Pearl. And the reason why I love this so much is because this is, well, the highlights are like no highlights that I have in my collection. They look like they are wet when applied to the face. They give the most beautiful sheen. If you really are into strobing or highlighting, if you love collecting highlighters, these are highlighters that you need in your collection. If you like a highlight that is like ba bam you're gonna look like an ethereal moon, um, you need these in your life, like you seriously do. So uh, yeah, they just give like this beautiful wet look to your face and yeah, you just shine bright like a diamond. So this is the middle guy right here. I actually love this. When I first, you know, touched this for the first time, I was like, what the heck? And it's funny, it's it's called Filter Light, but they describe it as a matte sand. And at first I'm like, are they talking about the texture? Because this is exactly what this feels like. It feels like sand. I don't know if you can hear that. It feels like sand. But Underneath the eyes as a setting powder, this is super brightening and it does set your concealer really, really well. This reminds me of their setting powder, like their white setting powder. It's like the same texture, but it's in press form and it has, you know, a yellow tint to it. So it does brighten up your under eyes as well. So I really, really like this. I don't know if this was supposed to be like a matte highlighter, but I just use this underneath my eyes and I find that it works beautifully. So, oh. Oh, oh, and the brush, guys, I almost forgot. The brush is, uh, I, I say, it, like I said, if you're a highlighter kind of sneer, you need this brush in your life because this will give you a beautiful finish to your highlight. This will amplify any highlight that you have in your collection. You just, you know, tap the brush into the highlighter, of course, and it, 
it's like a duo fiber brush and it is a bit angled so you just swoop it onto your cheeks do you see that guys you just swoop it onto your cheeks like so and it looks whoa look at that it looks so beautiful guys like I am just so impressed. And then it has this little duo fiber brush here, which is more dense. And you can use this to like apply this to the bridge of your nose like so, getting highlight on your cupid's bow or even the inner corners of your eyes. It's just fantastic. Let me put some on my cupid's bow. Bam and the inner corner of my eyes. This is just an amazing brush, guys. I feel like if you love highlighters, if you love collecting them, and there are a few highlighters in your collection that are kind of a dud, and you want them to be a little bit more ba bam this is the brush for you. So this, again, is my favorite. These are both my favorite things from this collection. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, if you have any questions on any of these products, um, leave them down below, or if you have tried this collection and you have a few products that are your favorite and you wanna share them with me, let me know in the comments down below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.